all right this is a review of city of god now um i was introduced to this movie by a teacher believe it or not it was so many years ago i can't remember what his reasoning was for showing on this showing us this movie i mean it wasn't purely based on action i don't think uh it wasn't high school movie is quite violent <laughs> um I think it was because I feel like this movie well it says 2000 it says it came out in 2002 it's based on a true story one of those um but it takes place in it starts in the 60s and then goes through the 70s which I feel like predates a lot of this predates a lot of the the the, the um oh god it predates a lot of the um uh, glorified gangster stuff that's portrayed in American hip hop and, and, and American movies. I feel like, I mean, there was always an element of of, of gangster in in uh, in impoverished areas. But I I don't know. It, it's funny that simultaneously, you know, two different places in the world this side and that side basically the same things happening in areas that are lacking that are lacking funds and education really um, first I have to try and get out all of the characters because they all have uh, well most of them have uh, memorable nicknames so you know there's there's Rocket or Bush Bear because the movie's in Portuguese that's the only one I remember is Bush Bear but and then there's Carrot, and then there's Benny. I'm looking at the names right here. Shorty, which he he's a he's a rat. I can get to his character because he he uh, he comes up early on in the movie. And then got a little dice or a little dicey. And then you got Angelica. Well, Angelica plays a short part as well. So it, it starts off. Um, it starts off. What is that on my forehead? What is that on my forehead? It's like a line on the center of my forehead. I don't like that. It starts off, um, I guess, like like uh, um, innocent enough. Well, innocent as it can be, because it starts off with uh, uh, poverty and petty crimes like that. Um, it starts off uh, telling the story of Rocket, Rocket's uh, older brother and his two friends, who are basically committing like. Uh, uh, robberies and things like that, not really doing too much, and, and of course it, it shines a light on uh, a slum called City of God that that was made in uh, they speak Portuguese or so Brazil. Um, the earlier the well, that's interesting. The, the the earlier part of the movie that takes place in in the sixties really doesn't highlight the. Uh, the variety of tones or, or skin tones that are that are prevalent in, in, in Brazil. I mean, I don't think it was that, it was made that big of a deal. Um, all the characters seem to be a little bit lighter and darker, but well, lighter and dark, lighter of them. You know what I mean? Like mahogany and, and hickory and not hickory, mahogany and, and and brown sugar colors and things of that nature. Um, caramel even um, nothing nothing like white bread or or or, or eggshell or something like that it, it's funny to compare human beings to colors but just for point of reference so it, it starts off by telling that story and what they what they got into and of course it it turns to love and it also showcases somebody who has zero emotion and that's a literal guy that's a little dicey he's younger than Rocket, but he's hanging out with Rocket's older brother, because, oh, oh man, to try to explain this movie is so hard, because there's so many elements that I think that that just run over in so many different communities, so for instance, you have a, you have a character like Little Rocket, I think I'll do that, I'll break it down by character, so I know I'm, I was talking about how um, the movie starts off by explaining um, what the, the three the three 
bad, the three baddest guys in the neighborhood, basically, or that slum, particular slum were, were getting into during that time, you know, a small robbery, and then eventually they, they moved to something more serious. They robbed a, a bigger establishment, a hotel, but Little Dicey really has, he's really, 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 in, uh, what is it, a psychopath or something like that? He just doesn't care. He goes in there after they've robbed everybody and murders like six or seven people. Of course, that brings a whole bunch of heat to them. They're trying to get away, but of course, you know, there's corruption in the police department, and uh, Rocket's older brother is having an affair with a married woman, and that married woman is married to the character named Shorty. Now, Shorty is known in, in the city of God to be a, be a rat or a snitch, to be telling on everything. And he, okay, he finds his wife in bed with another man. With another, with a, with a man, another man, he loses it. He beats her to death. So as he's getting arrested, he points out, oh, uh, one of the three. It's it's a, it's a great scene that I think deserves to be watched. But basically, you know, his girlfriend, one of the three bad guys. What, yeah, they're bad guys. One of the three baddest guys in the neighborhood gets convinced by his girlfriend there's nothing here we need to leave let's go to the big city let's, let's make a life for ourselves and i think it was a, a ongoing thing where couples that grew up there decided that life wasn't worth living there so they all wanted to move to a farm which i thought was interesting but anyway um i'm getting ahead of myself here um I talk about short. I talk about shorty. I talk about rocket. So that that basically ends the 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 early years. Um, all three of those guys. No, 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 no. The interesting thing I almost forgot. One of the three. Uh, it's just a common thread. He winds up after this after this life of a gangster and a bad boy. He turns to God. Believe it or not, and on his way to the church he's like rolled his ankle he's been shot or something on his way to his church the police pass right by him and and target someone else for the crimes and he, he winds up giving his life to, to god uh rocket's older brother winds up getting shot by a little little dicey or, or little, whatever the, the little crazy dude um that that'll come back in to the story into play later on in the story and the third one gets he gets killed trying to flee City of God after Shorty has pointed him out. But you know, the, the sad part about it is his, his girlfriend's in the car and the girlfriend watches him die. That's, I'm, I'm not doing it justice, but that that's it. So you go further into the story. Now it's, it's the story's basically falling rocket throughout his life. And you know, a little Desi's grown up and, and now he's, He's took it over control of all the drug trade in in, uh, in City of God, so he's basically the man. But there's another guy on the other side of town whose name is Carrot, and these two guys. They, 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 of course, there's like, why wouldn't why wouldn't little little Dicey take over the little Zez or little Z or something like that? I'm really bad with it, but I just call him Z. Why wouldn't Z take over Carrot's operation because of Benny? Benny is uh, uh, little Z or Z's best friend throughout the whole movie and he's keeping peace with everybody and everything and and goes on later on you find out that he's uh he's liked by every group every person everybody likes him so this is where angelica comes into play so and so rocket and angelica are the same age and basically rocket has a school school like a school schoolboy crush on her he's been trying his hardest to get with her but she had a boyfriend and uh, she she breaks up with that boyfriend due to, to drug use, and then he's finally going to get it. He finally got a chance to get with her, but Benny comes in. But Benny's such a likable guy; it's not that big a deal. But Al Angelica falls for for Benny, and they decide to get. And she convinces him to leave the slums. But you know, little Z is going to be left by himself. Not only is he lonely, but he doesn't know how to interact with other humans too well. So that leads to an issue, and of course. They have, uh, I know I'm explaining too much of the movie, but they, they wind up having, uh, they wind up having, uh, beef with, uh, not beef. They wind up, um, getting into like a, 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 
bit of an altercation in, in the midst of a, a takeover, but they d decide to keep the guy alive, and the guy decides to come back and kill his little, little Z, but he misses Lil Z, hits Benny, and then that's the end of that, you know, that's the end of that whole, because things were pretty mellow by then, but once that happened, then it's like basically full off war almost, um, trying to see what else happens in there, Knockout Ned, that character doesn't come to later on in the movie, but I don't want to talk about this movie without pinpointing so many things that I think have to be pinpointed. There's one there is the uh, the segregation or, or separation purely based on someone's skin color because there's a such a wide range or such a wide mix of different um, uh, skin tones in this place but they all speak the same language and doesn't necessarily mean that because you're lighter skinned you're going to be better off you're basically born into that life of poverty and this showcases that very well and it also showcases um, how tragic and how beautiful life could be but you know and you also see the ages of these kids and how easily these lives are just taken away you're looking at that as well um, Knockout Ned comes into play because of Z's desire to, like every every person every male's heterosexual male's desire to be with a woman but he can't talk to him so he winds up winds up being a brute and an animal and taking uh, taking the flower of uh, little Ned's girlfriend and little Ned's pretty much like you know he, he's lost at this point and he was in the military before there's so many different connections that happen in this movie that I'm leaving out I know I'm trying to do my best because this is such a such a good movie it's such a good movie um I think what else happened today what else can I talk about so yeah talk about little Ned I mean knock on Ned I'm, I'm sorry so knock on Ned uh basically he's sitting there doesn't know what to do um z didn't kill him initially but then you know he thinks about like, why did i kill him and then you know at the same time he's saying that uh ned's saying why didn't he kill me you know different parts but then they meet back up again uh knock on ned's little brother goes outside try to talk him out of it but then he's like no no i'll go call him he turns around pokes him with a knife but you know he only hits him in the arm they shoot him till he catches on fire i've heard that phrase before they shoot him like a lot of times they shoot the house up killing his uncle as well knock on his uncle and then basically um they're already there's already a, a war brewing or going on between carrot and Lil, and z now knock out ned joins carrot's crew and they take over they do a cup they do a robbery of a gun store and a bank um which will come into play later on because in the robbery of the bank knock on ned kills a security guard and that guy's kid, of course, wants revenge. You see that come later on in the, in the movie. Um, I'm not eloquent enough to explain all the all the great aspects of this movie. Okay, I'm just going to give you an overview, and I hope you go watch it. it. It's in Portuguese, but it has subtitles. I'll tell you that Portuguese is a is a pretty interesting language takes a little bit getting used to there are some words that sound similar to spanish but it's not not similar at all at the same time um overall it's a great movie you, you know just, just all the characters in there oh and also there's um i remember there's a documentary uh city of god 10 years later that takes a look at the actors and the paths that they chose in real life after the movie. Now, I think only one of the actors, the, the young lady who played Angelica, I think she went on to actually come to Hollywood and play in some uh, bigger movies, I'd say. But that's it. It's a great movie. It deserves a watch. And they, and they spice in real pictures of the characters at the end of the movie. And you follow uh, Bush Cat Bear. He's always wanted to be a photographer. He gets to get that dream because of his connection to these individuals inside the uh, inside the slum. He gets to take exclusive pictures, so that gets him 
a job basically and you get to see how it unfolds more and more there's there's such a a big message just such a big booming message that comes from uh, a movie like this it puts out there to me in my eyes it, it showcases the fact that education is key and just having the common decency to raise individuals out of poverty it's the government's uh, uh, responsibility to do that now but you can eliminate that one by just helping with education because if a person is educated I feel like they have a 900 times more better chance of making it in life that's just me